Perry, how, how you've talked a few times about confidence and the guys maybe pressing them a bit. Was, mm -hmm. was it important for you guys to have a night like this? You got a bunch of guys going and, and have yeah. a bunch of guys see shots going out like that. Yeah, I, I think that uh, you know, that was a, that was a great portion of the game, but I think that would made us, um, you know, very successful tonight as well as other nights when we play at a very high levels on the defensive end. You know, that's, we we we're not, you know top three, you know, defense or wherever we are for no reason. I think that, you know, whenever guys feel comfortable against us, you know, they play pretty well. I and mean, it's hard to calm a guy down. Any guy in this league, no matter how many years, anything like that, they get a, a you know, good pace going in the first half, they feel pretty confident coming in the second half. And I feel like tonight we we really just weathered any storm that they, they do at us. And we knew some, you know, most of their plays and, you know, contested and used our length to our advantage. And, um, and we're playing at that type of level, and we're, we're tough to beat because offensively it'll take care of itself. So, you know, shots are going to go in and out, shots are going to go in, but if we hold our stance on that end, we'll be pretty successful. So it felt good tonight to win like that, you know, because that's, that's who we are. You recall your particular mindset um, in that closeout time, you hit the quick three, and then you came back, um, you kind of dribbled out and hit that fade over to AD? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's, it's closing time at that point. I think that we did a great job of playing the minutes that we did, um, you know, and, and we made the miss. And we, we tried to limit our fouls down the stretch. Um, it slowed down the game a little bit, got into a nine-point game, eight-point game. But I think that we knew that we had the game in control just based upon um, our defensive schemes that we had out there. So we felt pretty good. Um, but offensively, like I said, it's going to take care of itself. Um, you know, winning time like that, have the confidence in my teammates, confidence, coaching staff, make the right plays and seek out the mismatches that we want. <laughs> You seem kind of at the head of the defense about being active against Holiday and just kind of not making it easy. They couldn't get a lot of turnovers. You guys yeah. forced a lot of those turnovers. Mm -hmm. I mean, was that the best you've played defensively? Well, in a I, th while? I think the unit that we had out there today was, you know, it, it really was. Uh, we really had that mindset going. We wanted to start off the game and have a defensive presence. Marcus on the ball took some of that pressure off of me of, of being off the ball as well, offensively and defensively. So when my time was on Drew Holiday, I was able to direct do the right things. But Marcus was really taking that responsibility. And, and that's a role that he particularly plays for our team. And we do really well. So, um, you know, and also on the offensive end, it takes pressure off of me being able to play off the ball sometimes, not being, not concerned. Um, you know, my energy can get depleted and coming up and down and directing the ball every single time. And having Marcus in there gave me that outlet to be able to get off the ball. So we, we, we did pretty well with our, our unit tonight. But we started off the game well, and we didn't ever look back. How important is Marcus, just the intangibles? The Who's Marcus? Oh, smart. Yeah, well, okay. In this case, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, more too, but just mm -hmm. smart. How important is he critical as he is to I mean, there's a reason why we signed him back. There's a reason why he's, he's very instrumental for our team of being successful because he's a veteran now, you know, not in terms of years, but he's played high-level basketball for the Celtics for a few years now. So we expect him to be in the right spots and doing the right things. And when he's playing with me, we play pretty well in the one and two spots. So defensively and offensively, I feel like, you know, he he, he brings our numbers up. And, um, you know, I'm appreciative. When you talk about the defensive effort, even though, I mean, 80's always going to get numbers, but it seemed like you guys really made it hard on him you know, yeah. all night, even though he did put up big numbers at the end of the day. Yep, yep. <laughs> the great players are going to be. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, you, you throw as many defenses as you can. and collapse him and, and um, you know he's still gonna get to the free throw line and make great plays. That's that's what makes AD great. So for us we just tried to live with some of those misses and then push in transition and, and, and feed off the mismatches.